and welcome to the Craft Beer Corner. For today's beer review, we're jumping into a fun one and we're jumping over to the country of Belgium yet again for a beer style that is one of my absolute favorites, though it has been quite a while since I've had one. And we are jumping today over to Brauerei Lindemanns. Uh, this beer in question is a Lambic. Uh, Lindemanns makes one of my absolute favorites. They're from Waz, the raspberry flavor. This is the strawberry version, just called strawberry. Of course, they will name it in Dutch as well as English and French, you know, Belgium is a very interesting country, a very diverse country, and they do speak multiple, multiple language there. Uh, Brarai Lindemans is based in the Flanders region of Belgium, specifically in Flesenbeek. Um, spelled, what if you were pronouncing it in German, it looks like it says Vlesenbeek. It's pronounced Flesenbeek. It's, it's Dutch. And it's similar to German, but it does have its own distinctly different pronunciations. So if you care, that's how to pronounce the name of the city. Nonetheless, this one brewed with strawberries. Uh, I've had the framboise many, many, many times over the years. It's one of my absolute favorites. It is indeed my personal favorite Lambic, and I've never had their strawberry. This is one that's been out for a little while, and somehow it just fell off my radar. So we're going to jump into this one today. Uh, Lindemanns founded in 1822 and we've talked about this before but it's worth a reminder uh, Lambic is to Belgium as Champagne is to France, France and Port is to Portugal. There is only a very specific region where a beer can be brewed and be called Lambic otherwise it's just a you know a naturally um, yeast fermented beer that is not a Lambic. It can only be Lambic if it's from that specific region, and indeed this one is. So this is a true Lambic. Uh, label art on this, not much to talk about. Just their classic clean Lindemann's design with a Lindemann's design with the strawberry on the front. Gets you in the mood. Nice bright foil up here. Now I believe that I'm gonna have to pull the cork on this. It's been a while since I've had one, but I think they cap and then a cork. Yep, so great. Let's uh, first scoot the glass to the side. Get the cap pulled, and then we'll drill right into this bad boy. Yes, I know there's faster wine pull systems these days. I'm acutely aware of it, uh, but I drink so little wine, and there's only so many beers that are corked that uh, just having this old school one works just fine. And frankly, it's a very nice, sturdy one. So uh, anytime you have a corked beer, you can always give it a sniff. Oh yeah, I can smell the strawberries and I can absolutely smell the sour and the tart coming off of the aroma on this one. It smells fantastic. So just set that to the side, spin this back around, get this poured right in the glass. This uh, nice little delirium goblet works great for sours. So let's just get this poured right in. A nice kind of orangey pink color owing to the strawberry addition in the beer. It looks lovely. Now this is forming a good bit of a head. This is pretty common on Lindemann's. Uh, theirs do form a nice head, but like most sours, it's gonna get out of the way pretty quickly. So we're gonna jump right over, get all the aroma notes out that we need. Oh yeah, wow. So it smells even better in the glass than it did just uh, the sniff off the cork the strawberry really jumps out at you. Yes, you can smell the souring. Yes, you can smell the tart, but the strawberry in particular really, really does pop out on this beer. It smells of nice, ripe, fresh strawberries. And indeed, visually, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a pinkish, orangish hue. So you add the, the red flesh of the strawberry into a beer base, and that's roughly the color it's gonna come out. So the head is nearly completely out of the way already. Just the tiniest bit of pad on the top and a little bit of cling on the sides. That's out of the way enough for me. We're gonna jump right in, see what this one's about. Oh man, oh, that is so good. Oh gosh, I can't believe I've taken this long to try this beer and I've known about it. I've seen it tons and tons of times. Somehow I just never grabbed it. This is absolutely delicious, guys. This is everything that I love about Lindemann's Lambics. And yes, okay, Lindemann's does add 
uh, lactose into the uh, beer uh, mixture so that their fruit additions actually do taste like the fruit. But it's not so much that it's pungently or stringently sweet. Um, you still get this nice sour and tart up front, but they want the fruit to taste like the fruit in their Lambic. And I think they do the best balance. A lot of different uh, Lambic brewers will do the same thing, but I like the balance of Lambics. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's just right that the fruit addition that they put in there tastes like the fruit, but you still get that nice sour and tart kick out of the base beer itself. It's absolutely delicious. In terms of body and mouthfeel on this one, no surprises. It's only 4.1% ABV. It's a Lambic. It's not a heavy beer style. It doesn't feel heavy. I would say this feels roughly medium light, which is right in the wheelhouse for a give or take 4% Lambic. In terms of the mouthfeel, this one does actually get quite creamy when you agitate around the palate. There's no real heavy uh, resistance on it. It's a lighter beer. You can really feel the effervescence as well when it's on the palate. And it does a really good job of coating the flavors. Um, so you get this nice sense of the right weight and texture on it. Then you get this wonderful burst of these strawberries as you agitate around the palate. As soon as you swallow, it's really intense. Just this wonderful burst of uh, shower, uh, sour and tart acidity up front that backs off and just burst of strawberry flavor. It tastes absolutely incredible. And guys, I mean real strawberry. We're not talking artificial flavor flavoring here. It tastes right. It is so, so good. And this is one of the reasons that Lindemann's is my personal favorite Lambic Brewer, because they get the balance of everything just right. So I'm going to jump back in for a second sip, let everything re-intensify, then we'll come back and talk in more detail about the balance and the finish. But this is a killer, killer beer. Take two. Oh, it's so good. The intensity of strawberry flavor is just incredible. It is so, so delicious. I can't describe to you what a great fruit addition this is to the Lindemann's Lambic formula. It just is an absolute treat. It's the strawberry equivalent of their framboise. It's just a different fruit. It's done just as well, and it is just as tasty. Balance on this. Nothing I would change. I think that they are the absolute Lambic balance masters for their additions that they do into them. It's just right. You get that sour and tart kick up front. It's not super astringent. You get that sweetness. So the fruit additions taste like the fruit, but it's not too astringent. And it's just this wonderful lingering intensity of flavor. They're not shy about the volume of fruit they put in here. It really is quite pungent. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much. In uh, terms of the rest of the balance of kind of how their flavorings work, um, a lot of Lambics will have kind of that Britannomyces type kind of funkiness, barnyard, little astringency. It's not like that in Lindemann's. They really do a good job of exactly balancing out to get the exact flavor profile they want. So it tastes like a Lambic, but it doesn't have any of those um, kind of funky flavors, if you want to call them, that a lot of people and a lot of other different brands have in their Lambics. And it's part of their process. It's by design, and it's absolutely fantastic. In terms of the finish, this is definitely longer than your average Lambic, and it really does come down to uh, just the volume of fruit additions in here. It's quite pungent. This is well, well, well above average. It's not one of those super thick beer styles that really coats and lingers all over the palate, but for a Lambic, it's very long. I would say even a minute after each sip, you're still tasting quite clearly the fruit in there. It's top tier, guys. That's very, very rare, and it's very, very nice. In terms of classic Lambic dryness, there's a little bit on this one. It's subtle, and it does come on the very, very, very end as the fruit is finally making its last vestiges known on your palate before the sip ends. So all in all, a very classic Lambic formula here, just done extremely well. I am a big, 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 big fan of the strawberry version. I am gonna take my time, sip on this, come up my scores. When we come back, we will get this beer ranked from top to bottom. All right, now that we've gotten to enjoy this beer, we're gonna get it ranked. This is Bradaray Lindemann's Strawberry, their strawberry flavored version of their world famous Lambic. This one clocks in at 4.1% ABV and Lindemann's is based in Flesenbeek in Belgium. 
So this is a really, really great beer, guys. I've had a bunch of their different flavors. I knew that this was a new one they put out sometime in the last 10, 20 years, I forget. It's been out for a little while, but somehow I had yet to pick one up. And their framboise is one of my absolutely favorite, favorite Lambics. So I figured this one would be good, and indeed it met and exceeded my expectations. This was uh, near as so far as you could call it a perfect Lambic if you like fruited Lambics. Uh, but even so, uh, there is one category in this beer that did not get a perfect score, and we're just going to jump straight to that category in question, and that was the head and the retention. So this one, look, it is what it is. Uh, most Lambics, uh, most Sours indeed, are going to have a head that'll form in the beginning, and very quickly it's out of the way. It tends to seem, at least on the Lindmans, that they do form a little bit more of a head than would be typical on an average Lambic or Sour Beer style. Um, look, it didn't stick around super, super long. It did finally mostly get out of the way, but it's definitely stuck around a little bit longer than is the norm. Um, overall, still above average. I only docked a few points here. I gave the head and the retention a 7 for what it's worth. So that does leave a perfect 10 out of 10 in the remaining nine categories. That's aroma, taste, body, mouthfeel, finish, appearance, balance, my subjective thoughts, and finally example of style. So the total score on Brarai Lindemann's Strawberry Lambic is indeed a 97 out of 100. So look, lost some points, who cares? Some people don't even care about head on a sour. Um, it is not typical for sour beers or Lambics, uh, but some people don't care one way or the other, but it is what it is. You could call this a perfect Lambic if you wanted. And if you're a fan of the fruited variety, especially with their um, slight more sweet forward profile to really let the fruit taste like it actually should in their beers, specifically Lindemann's, I do highly recommend them. They don't tell you specifically, it just says natural sweetener. I have to assume it's lactose. They don't spell it out. I just have to assume because otherwise it would be converted into alcohol by the yeast, any other type of sugar. But regardless, this one is just as great as I was hoping it would be. Um, all of these beers are awesome. There's still a few other flavors I've yet to try, so I do plan to add those in the lineup on the channel. Uh, but this is one I definitely can say unhesitatingly, without question, if you're a fan of Fruited Lambics, this is one you definitely want to try. Folks, that is today's review. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you tuning in today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay in the loop when our videos go live, just turn on your notifications by hitting that bell icon. Until next time, keep it beer, keep it craft. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.